What's up, Toast Cam Hoarder 11 here, and today I have some Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 gameplay for you, but I have it from the PC, not from console, so I think this is really interesting because it was my first time playing Call of Duty on the PC, and it was definitely a different experience than the console. On console, you kind of get on, you do what you do, you do what you can do, and then you're just, you either good or you're bad or you suck or whatever. But on PC, it's a lot different. The people are a lot different, the skill is a lot different, and it's all, it's really based on controls, how good you are with the keyboard and mouse that is to say if you are using keyboard and mouse you could be using a controller hooked up to your PC but I wasn't doing that I wanted the authentic PC gaming experience so I used keyboard and mouse and needless to say I did pretty bad I did go on one nice streak I believe but even that that wasn't incredibly nice by anyone's standards just mine my own shit standards for when I play PC but still point I want to bring up is that leaving your comfort zone is important. It's always important in real life and in uh, Call of Duty or in gaming in general. You want to get new experiences. Once you have a general idea of how something works, you want to, you want to change it up. You want to try something new. Like, I, I know how COD works on the console. I'm I was decent at a time, and then I stopped for a little bit, then I got kind of shitty, and then uh, I come here to PC, and it's a totally different ballpark. The controls are completely different, but that's um, really nice because the people are really nice. The people on PC, I think when you reach a certain level of skill, you get the sense of uh, humbleness and humility that you can't find on console. A lot of people on console are very douchey. Uh, it doesn't matter if they're good or bad, they're just usually generally not nice people. When you get online, people are always have something to uh, mean to say about your mother or anything of that sort of nature. But that's not to say that everyone is terrible, it just seems like everyone is really bad, or at least the lobbies I'm getting into. But then again, it doesn't really matter because you don't let stuff like that bother you. Uh, the point I want to bring up is that people on PC are just really nice and supportive. People say GG after every match, people just help you out during game. There's text chat you could pull up. Uh, I haven't heard, I think I've heard like one person talking in like game chat it's all like type based you you type t to open up your text box and then you just you type away um, at one point i had i had not um hooked up my controls to let me use kill streaks so all my kill streak keys were unbound i just asked like hey how do i use kill streaks and then they're telling me how to use them and and they're just really helpful they're always eager to help because when you help your team you're helping yourself you're helping your team to victory you're getting experience you're getting experience for winning your team is getting experience and that is the point right your point is to win as a team there's no point in playing a team based game if you're not going to act like a team and i think the people on pc have a really good grip of what that is what that's all about and i think that's the sense of also uh pc in terms of call of duty at least they don't get a lot of stuff first or, I don't know if they get anything first. The only thing they have is really the fact that they can mod, they can make their own maps, they can um, do all that stuff, which is basically infinite. But they're not getting map packs early, they're not getting stuff like that. And I think uh, what comes with being an Xbox gamer, you say, oh, Xbox is so good because it's... um." because you get all the DLC first or whatnot, or Xbox is so much better for this reason, or PlayStation is better because the online is free or whatnot. I think PC is uh, a little bit different, and that is from the humble community that they have is uh, where that difference comes in, because um, to be a PC gamer, you have to kind of dump in a lot of money. You need a good computer, and then also you need to buy the games unless you torrent them, torrent them but that is uh, kind of cheating the developer, which is, isn't cool and I don't approve of. I, I used to be like that, but I'm no longer. I, I buy all my games now, but... Anyway, uh, you need to put in about like a thousand dollars, or I, I I think I put in nine hundred dollars on mine. It was it was a thousand four hundred, but I got a sale, so um, nine hundred dollars. But still, point is, it was an expensive computer, so you got to put in like three times as much into a computer as you would into a console for the most part. So I think that comes with um, you put in this money, and now you're gonna like use it wisely. You're not gonna just bitch at people and make the worst experience possible, because I think that's what a lot of ha things. Uh, a lot of what happens on the console is people put in like 200 bucks or 300 bucks to buy an Xbox, however much it costs now, or maybe you get a refurbished one, you buy Call of Duty, and then you just uh, bitch and complain at people, and then you just yell at people, and you just you don't make the most of your experience, and I think that comes with wasting, not wasting, but putting in all that money, investing, I should say, all that money into a gaming setup, a proper PC gaming setup, I think it's more like, okay, well I put in this money, I'm going to make the best of it, so I really like that, and um going back into changing your comfort zone uh, I think it's important that everyone should do that and uh, my first steps into doing that is uh, joining the PC gaming bandwagon and that's not really a bandwagon but you know you know what I mean just joining PC gaming because it's a really interesting experience and it's definitely a new thing and I recommend anyone who 
uh, has the money or has the PC to sort of get into gaming. There are free games. Obviously, TF2 is a fantastic uh, free game with a fantastic community behind it, and I uh, definitely um, recommend you guys check those games out or check that game out. And just so you know, if you're wondering, I did not buy Call of Duty on the uh, PC, it was a free Steam weekend where you play the game for free, you get an idea of what you like, what you don't like, and then you buy it if you want, if not, just whatever. You just don't buy it, you get a free weekend, so it's kind of like how free live weekend would work on Xbox if, you know, a weekend you play online and then you buy a live card if you want. If you don't, you just don't go on live again, so that's basically what that was, and I'll see you guys later, hope you enjoyed, Camel Order 1 and out.